Hey guys, welcome to my follow-up spotlight for my, not spotlight, my follow-up review for my Alienware X51 computer setup. As you can see, most of the stuff is actually still the same. I still have that monitor there. Um, I still have my blue snowball. Um, I still have my, my sound system right there. You can see two of them there. You can see another one there. There's another one up there. And another one over there. Um, but there's some new additions for, uh, one of them being the Logitech G27. An awesome, awesome steering wheel. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. We got, um, a second monitor. As you can see, I'm uploading right now, uh, Let's Play Sniper Elite V2 Episode 3. Uh, just a little, um, sneak peek. Uh, I die quite a bit. Uh, here you can see my Skype. So, this is where I talk to Bryce and Tyler and Clay and all them. Um, let's move on to here. That's just my cable box as well as my drink right there. Um, we have a PS3 on top of a PS2. They share a AV cord that goes down to my sound system right there. Um, and the HDMI to the PS3 goes to, uh, you can, s no you can't. Okay, well, um, it goes, it hooks right into the back of this monitor. And all I have to do is click one of those blue buttons in order to switch the mode. Um, I have my PS3 controller there. Currently, I am playing uh, the Sly Cooper HD Collection. Let me get this here. Just stuck to it. There we go. Uh, right there. Fantastic game. So, yeah. I'm not gonna put that there. Screw it. The disc isn't the PS3 anyway. Um, big Sly Cooper fan. Um, so we got that. Uh, let's move on to the sound system. Uh, there you can see, uh, the subwoofer. Um, one of the more, um, popular comments in my old review is that, uh, you know, I said that, uh, you can stick their fingers in it so it's pretty big. People thought that was pretty funny, because, you know, sexual innuendos. Um. I got my surge protector back there with all my cords. Um, all right, let's talk about some of the new stuff on my actual desk. Um, tape, that's kind of new, I guess. Um, usually I have my microphone pushed up against this, this uh, big tower thing. Um, and so I can kind of talk into it and it'll vocalize like that. Um, this is my chair. It's a nice leather chair. So, yeah. Very comfy. So, usually what I'll do is I will kind of just sit back like this. So, I guess this would be kind of a point of view. Got a little bit of space between me and the desk. We got a uh, monitor. Monitor. I would really like to review this. Um, it is the Alienware Tactex keyboard as well as the Alienware Tactex mouse there. Now I actually do have the the Tactex headset as well. The problem is for some reason it's not playing audio. I guess you could say it's broken. So that kind of sucks. I love that headset. It's actually a really nice headset. Alright, now for what you guys all came here for, seeing as the title um, uh, no, down there is a uh, there is the um, Alienware X51 update um, view thingy. Right, I'll just make an update slash review. Uh, there's my Alienware. I keep it right down there. Yeah, just zoom out a bit if it will let me. There. Um, as you can see, my my blue snowball uh, right there uh, plugs in right there. I just prefer to have it in the front so that way. I have a little bit more maneuvering maneuvering room. See when I'm talking on Skype, um, it's usually right here, just so it's not too loud, so it's overpowering people. And um, yeah, it's usually just right there. When I am recording, it's usually right here, so you guys can get the maximum out of my voice and my loveliness. 
Um, other than that, I have, I have, uh, like, a bright, it's the brighter blue setting. Actually, uh, let me zoom out here, focus. There, okay, uh, I hope I'm not shaking too much. It's hard to hold a mouse completely still. Alright, well, that's starting up, that's just the Alienware FX editor. Um, in the back, I have the two cables that lead for, um, the Tactix, um, keyboard. One for LEDs and one for the actual functionality, I'm guessing. Uh, one for the, the mouse. I, I plug in the G27, uh, the shifter's right there. Um, I plug in the G27 right there in that second port there. Uh, headphone and um, microphone jack. Don't use those. Cool Alienware head. Um, as well as the DVD tray there. You can, you can kind of see it, I guess. Um, in the back. Now I'll turn it around. Hold on. No. Uh, um, is it going to stand? Actually, I'm going to use the phone feature that's on this phone. There. So you guys can admire uh, that uh, in all its beauty for a second. While I, while, while I turn around the X51 itself. Let me unplug the mic real quick. There. And all of its glory. So you guys can see back there. Okay. Um, got my six USBs uh, taken up in the back. Can I turn it a bit more? Yes, I can. I'm going to need a light. Alright. Admire that a bit more. Hold on. Got this industrial story. Not industrial, but we got a pretty powerful flashlight here. Um, I'm going to just point it there, so... And the light just bounces off. Um, you can see. Can I just put this? Yes, I can. Uh, so there's the uh, USBs there. Um, yep, all six. So that consists of my external hard drive, which is there. Uh, yep, right there. You can kind of see it. It's a two terabyte external hard drive, fantastic. Um, my two DVIs, DVI-D and DVI-I, and then we have the three audio cables right there. You can see green, yellow, and black, um, as well as the power cable. You can see the green light, but you really can't see. Uh, let me try. No, you really can't see it. Um, the power cable goes, uh, if you kind of look at an angle, yeah, you can see it right below that second white cable, you can see it plugged in, right there. Um, there is the little one for the mouse, uh, you can see the two cables on the far side, the external goes out, uh, that is my, uh, monitor cable there. Actually, I'm only using five. Uh, oh well. Um, so, yeah, the uh, PS2, PS3 setup, that's pretty cool. Um, I also have this really neat audio switcher, uh, which you can see here. So, what, what will happen is, if I can pull me drink out, put that over there, yum. Okay. As you can see here, I have my output. Um, these two cables are the most important. I really don't use this one. But these two cables, those lead down to the back of the audio, which is right here. You can see my... Uh, hold on. There it goes. Uh, you can see my, uh, my bass knob here. If I turn it this way, I get more bass. If I turn it back, I get uh, less bass. You're going to have to read upside down here. So bass, we got the three um, 
colored wires that we saw in there. Which you can't see because I don't have the flashlight. There's the uh, two uh, white and red cables from there. Um, that needs to be plugged in. I've, I've had a lot of issues with uh, this cable in particular. Is that because... Um, is that supposed to be orange? Hold on, admire that for a minute. I think it's supposed to be orange. That's odd. Hmm. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, well, anyway, I'll pull that back in. Um, that popped out a lot. Then we got the green and black, um, cables. Which are just the, uh, different, like, um, left, uh, left front. Uh, center, right front, right back, all that cool, 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 cool stuff. Alright, um, we got left and right stereo, that's just for the, uh, PS3 to hook into. And, uh, for a while I actually had my cable box there, uh, plugged into it so I could put TV right there. Um, my remote wouldn't turn it off or control the volume, but that's alright. Who needs that kind of cool stuff when, I, when you have a cool knob like that? Uh, anyway. Uh, this, um, second source here, right there, that is the PS2 and PS3 cables. Uh, right here is the TV audio. Oh, that's right, I don't use that anymore, because HDMI to TV, wonderful. So, um, yeah. So, that is pretty much this entire tower, as well as all this cover. Um, and there's, there's my phone right there. It's a crap phone. Um, let's take a look at the G27. Um, I'm gonna have a test drive video coming up soon. Uh, as of, uh, May 30th. Um, I have it recorded. I just haven't posted it yet. Uh, this is a very, very loose rep representation of what it looks like when... I actually play with the G27 shifter there. Uh, oh, okay. So, um, I'll usually pull up and I'll have I have my pedals right there. You can see them, and they'll just be retracted so my feet right there can touch them. They're usually I usually just put it up against the wall, so you know stuff like that. Um, I got my. Uh, actual G27. Back up a bit. Um, so, you know, 900 degree rotation. Pretty sweet. So that's cool. Um, I got the H shifter. It's awesome. I recommend the steering wheel to anyone who's actually an enthusiast of racing games. Um, the only one I play is Test Drive Unlimited 2, which is a blast. I like that game. A lot of people say it has a lot of bugs. It does. But it's a fun bug game. Whatever. Alright, so, um, yeah, those are, that's the G27. I bought that in February. Um, so I've had it for three months. Not a single problem. Almost four months, actually. Um, I'm trying to keep this video a little bit short, or as short as I can because short videos are nice. So what I'm going to do real quick is uh, show you guys something a bit cool here. If I can find it. Is that it? No. Hmm. Alright, well I had a, uh, a little RAM kit, um, it was two 4 gig sticks of RAM, um, and I am selling them on eBay, so if you are interested, then let me know, 
and I'll actually put the the link in the description of this video to that, that page. They are ninety dollars. Um, it is a bit expensive for eight gigs of RAM, I know. However, they were kept perfectly. The only they they spent probably less than ten minutes out of the computer in my possession. So that is I kept fantastic quality of that and once I got my 16 gig kit which I'm keeping the um once I got my 16 gig um kit I just put my um I put my uh my whatchamacallit my 8 gig kit in there um but uh yeah so I'm, I'm keeping very very uh good care of them um, yeah. So, uh, up oh, there, there. They were just right uh, beside me. Didn't see them. So, um, here it is. It says, uh, crucial memory. It, I don't think it actually is crucial. Uh, it might be, but I'm, I'm not sure. It, this actually isn't the original packaging for this. Like I said, once I got my 16 gig kit, I, um, just put the uh, the 8 gig kit in here just to make sure it's safe. Uh, so there's. Uh, come on. It's not going to focus. There it goes. Uh, so you can see it, it, it is a PC3 um, 12,800. Um, and it is a 4 gigabyte stick. There are two of them, hence 8 gigabytes. So. If you're interested, I'll put the uh, link in the description. They're ninety dollars, like I said, and uh, there's nothing wrong with them. They work perfectly, and yeah. So that's a little bit advertisement. Okay. Um. So uh, that will conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed this spotlight, uh, or review spotlight thingy, humagoo, uh, thingy. Not very good at talking. Um. And. Oh, yeah, forgot to do this. Um, so here's my um, current setup on my um, Alienware, like my color scheme. It's just those colors, which look like that on the alien, uh, the wheel. Right, uh, that one, right, right there, blue one. So, um, yeah, and then I have uh, one red on the mouse, and I have um, a... Uh, uh, lighter blue on the, uh, the thing here, or the, the the darker blue on the actual keyboard, and then I have a slightly brighter blue on the actual media keys part and the Alienware hood. So, um, yeah. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. Uh, you know, anything you um, do on this video helps. Uh, like I said, I am uploading Let's Play Sniper Elite V2 Episode 3, so um, check that out. Um, yeah, I will put a link for this um, RAM kit here, um, and yeah, so see you guys later.